changer right now so now what would be interesting is if we can go ahead and query the dns server and tell it to give us all the dns entries which it has in it so that is something called a domain transfer right so the way we can do that is let's say first we go ahead and find you know dig google.com and we find one of these name servers and then we go ahead and request that name server to tell us everything about google.com so what should happen ideally is that the whole you know zone transfer should occur for google.com and whatever ns2.google.com holds as the dns entries for the whole google.com zone should be sent to us so let's try it out but now what you see is that the transfer has failed and the reason is most dns servers basically as a security feature turn off zone transfers so it might not be possible always to have a zone transfer done so google has it disabled but some places might have it enabled so as an example maybe you can try out an educational institution because most of them would have it enabled and let's say we go ahead and find out iitg.rnet.in right so we can first find out the name servers which are here and we go ahead and see that luit is one of the name servers so we go ahead and make a request to luit right so iitg.rnet.in so this is the educational institution where i studied so one of the premier educational institutes in india and i was lucky enough to be there so let's go ahead and make a query to luit.iitg.rnet and tell it to do the whole zone transfer of the iitg domain by using this command right so a whole zone transfer request is being initiated and now if you look at it we've actually got a reply and this is the whole zone right iitgrnet.n and then you have these servers which are there here you know and what is exactly the server's ip addresses so on and so forth so whatever dns records luit.iitg.rnet had about this domain has been now sent to us right so you can see a whole lot of servers whatever is there right and most of these are actually you know been named as shiloi.iitg.rnet.in webmail.iitg so on and so forth so right the whole zone dns zone has been transferred using the axfr command it's an interesting command but not most people have it enabled so once again trying to go ahead and you know synopsize the whole video tutorial is that using commands like dig or ns lookup you know there's another command ns lookup which almost does the same thing you can check it up but most people use dig now we can find out more about the dns records of a particular domain this is very useful because let's say as a vulnerability assessment expert somebody says you know i have this domain xyz.com go ahead and do a vulnerability assessment a black box vulnerability assessment from somewhere on the internet so all you have this is this fully qualified domain name so where do you start you know how do you find out what is the ip address what are the domain name servers what is the mail servers address you know so on and so forth you know and maybe if a zone transfer is allowed you could find out even all the other servers which are hosted on the same network and this gives you a staging point for more vulnerability assessment exercises as to which servers you need to go ahead and test well that's it for this session thank you